happy Saturday, guys. We have had a little bit of a slow start, which is fine. But I get a little discouraged when I want to do like a hundred things on the weekends and I don't get much done. At least I'm believing in myself, so. Cleaned up, oh no. Cleaned up the house a little bit and then I've been working on taxes, which is so fun, but we need to get them done. Um, Gracie Mae's down for a nap right now and we're cuddling for a little bit. We are going to try to cut William's hair. <gasps> You need it, don't you? I cut it. Yes, you, you got some chocolate. You got some chocolate for Christmas, and so uh -oh, he's going to eat it uh -oh. while Mommy cuts his hair. Okay, come here. Sit. We'll see how this goes. Okay, you eat your chocolate. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, 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 hey. It's just gonna be like this. This is the tickle. <laughs> Did you get haircut? Haircut. <laughs> Oh, you look good. Come here, let me see it. Oh, you look handsome. Well, if I said we didn't accomplish anything this morning, we definitely haven't accomplished anything by, I think it's 4.30. No, I was working on taxes and stuff, which is Mommy nice, pig. but... Mommy pig. Thank you. Oh, we cut your hair. That's right. You got pretty hair. Look at yourself. Pretty. You look very handsome, right? Can I have some bed head? Uh-oh, Mommy. Oh. Chocolate. Yeah. You got some chocolate when he was... Getting his hair cut. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anyways, I was doing taxes while the kids napped, which Mama. is good because, Mama. yes, Mama. it needed done, but it just feels like you didn't get much accomplished for the day. So, um, in other news, Ryan and Corey worked on the 240 acres and got it all done. So they got all the posts put up and I think they went ahead and put the wires through the posts to secure the, the fence. Um, I'd have to show you guys but in a video to explain it fully, but they got the fence put up, which is awesome. We, uh, I don't know if you remember me telling you, but we don't need it till spring. We're going to start grazing that, but it's better to have it done and out of the way. Um, Next thing to do for that 240 acres is to mow it. We either need to burn it, which we don't really want to do. We'd rather mow it, but we don't have a big enough mower. I think Ryan said we only have like a six foot mower. He calculated it up the other day and it was going to take him, oh, I can't remember, uh, like 30 days or something. 30, I think it was 30 days at three hours a day because he would get home from the van route and then get on the mower for three hours like his butt wouldn't hurt and sit on the mower for three hours mow the 240 acres but the reason we're trying to do that is because of the total grazing that we're going to do we need to get all of that um, dead material cut down and onto the ground to help kind of mulch it and um, yeah, help the soil. So, lots of stuff going on. Doesn't really see it's slow, slow progress. They were supposed to uh, work the calves, but 
I think Ryan's going to end up doing it on Monday, which is Martin Luther King Day. So he'll have off work, which is nice. So we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. church but we had to stop and see the neighbors horses We just got done watching the Chiefs game and they won, so that's good. Ryan was very excited. But I just want to tell you guys thank you so much for watching. I know we didn't do a whole lot this weekend. Oh, you got your trucks. This morning um, I got up to feed Gracie Mae at uh, 4.30 and so I just stayed up and made a breakfast casserole and then made our breakfast for the week. But um, I listened to a podcast that was really, really good. I actually like four different episodes. It only took me like an hour or so, or probably two hours, but um, it was from Jill Winger, I think is her last name, um, from the Prairie Homestead. And she was talking about her story of how she came to be like a, um, a blogger and have their, their homestead. But she was talking about um, like our limiting beliefs, and like our things that we believe are truths that limit us from fulfilling our purpose in the world. And I don't know, I, it just really hit home with me and 
I am going to work on that this year. I am going to Daddy, focus bye -bye. on realizing what those limiting beliefs are for myself and push past them and I don't know, just do what I, whatever I want to do with my hopes and dreams for my life. And one of those is sharing our farm and um, our family with you guys and so that's what I'm going to do I who cares that I am a country girl in the middle of nowhere in Kansas I have a story that is to be told and I have a loving heart and raising two beautiful babies in a farm that we are raising great quality animals and regenerating the land and I have something to say so 2021 I'm gonna say it and if only my mom and my dad watch these videos or read my blog post then that's fine but at least I'm believing in myself so take that with you and go into your week believing in yourself as well and we'll see you in the next video guys thank you bye